It is February 2021. It is incredible how fast it's arrived. And now, right around the corner, Valentine's Day. I do love Valentine's Day, not just because of its amazing, beautiful colors and the trinkets they come out with, but because it's about showing love. It's about spreading love. I wanted to share a memory that actually changed how I viewed Valentine's Day. I've worked in many offices in my 47 years, and when I was about 23, on Valentine's Day, all the women were waiting for their token of love from their significant others. I knew I wasn't getting anything that day, so I wasn't quite paying attention the way they were. So many women received their flowers, candies, balloons, cute stuffed animals, and a few of them didn't. And they were disappointed. There was one woman in particular that really stood out. She was married 10 plus years and she did not receive anything from her husband. Her expression, her sadness, and being consoled from other coworkers because she didn't feel cared about. It was really sad. So that experience changed me. That next year, it was the same. I knew I wasn't gonna be receiving anything. So I decided I'm gonna do something for myself. I'm going to love myself. So I would get myself either a little trinket, get a little ribbon, make it all foofy with a little vase with the flowers. And I would write on the card, to me, love me, to Michelle, love Michelle, to Michelle, from me. You get the point. And I would get it all cute and put it on my desk and be happy every moment that I looked at it on Valentine's Day. My coworkers would go by and say, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Who got that for you? I'm like, me. They go, no, really, who got that for you? I said, me. They would pick it up, read the card, and they'd just start laughing. That day also made me want to do something so that no one ever felt that just because they didn't have a significant other, that they were gonna receive something. From that day on, in every office that I've been to, I always would purchase something, whether it be a little monkey, some type of flower, anything that I could possibly get within my budget through the years so that everyone received something. They did receive a token of appreciation and love that year. Their expressions were priceless. My mother used to make meatloaf, heart-shaped, a heart-shaped meatloaf with lots of ketchup on top so it looked red. She would get us little candies or little balloons. She would get creative every year and we'd, my sisters and I would always receive a cute little token of love every year. I pass that on to my kids. Hopefully they'll pass that on to theirs. But I wanted to share with my sons. I shared that experience of what happened to that woman that day so that they knew how their significant other would feel if they did not acknowledge that day. There are some women and family members that I know, they don't really care for flowers. I'm not one of them, but they don't care for flowers because they're really expensive and men have voiced that, and I agree, they're really expensive that day. And they said they, and they die. I, I get all those points. If you can do it, do it. If you can't because of the expense, then get creative. Get a cute little fake flowers in a vase with balloons and ribbons and get creative. 
it's not necessarily about the money. It is the token. It's the showing that you care about them. You care about that person that you love. It is a tiny little token to an amazing expression, which is love. If you don't have a significant other on Valentine's Day, then love yourself. Get that cool little trinket. Get yourself some flowers. Get your own balloon. Do it yourself. Love yourself that day. And if you're on a budget, like I said, you could you get creative. You could go to the 99 cent store and literally purchase, you know, a trinket, a balloon, a ribbon, and create a little arrangement for $5. You're worth it. You are loved. We are all loved. And we're not alone. Sometimes it feels like it'd be because we can't see it. You can see the little trinket and it reminds you that you're loved. If you don't happen to have your, you know, significant other dinner arrangements, make your own. As I am here, which this table was already used last week for a anniversary that my son did with his girlfriend underneath the lights. <laughs> but, and it's gonna be used next week for Valentine's Day for them. But for me today, it's me having a little glass candlelight with my newest beautiful addition. This is my new beautiful bear. Isn't she beautiful? How could I say no? It's impossible. She is absolutely beautiful and she's borrowing my little tiara. Whatever you do for Valentine's Day, remember you are not alone and you are loved. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Get something cute, make sure that you feel loved, spread that to your children, to your family, to your co-workers and to the world. Dress up, feel good and spread that love to everyone because that's pretty much what our world needs is more love and we only have our vibration to send out to others and it has a ripple effect. I'm going to be sending lots of positive thoughts and love your way and here it comes. I hope you have an amazing, wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye.